What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fishing 864. I am your boy Rabbit. That's right, and we are here on the Jonesville Reservoir. Got the old hummingbird on the pelican. As you might can see, there's some stuff down there. Substantial things crawling at 19 feet. But anyway, I got a, a variety of rods and reels back here baits things i'm gonna try on stay tuned guys Alrighty, guys i see some bass down there Let's see if we can't catch this one Alright guys, it's overcast skies, good and cloudy. We're gonna try some top water here. Trying to fight the wind. You know how it is guys. Just trying to fight the wind. Got the old Guggen, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's Guggen's version of jerk bait. I should know these things, right? Yeah, yeah, should. That there's what it is. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get up the lake here. The wind is blowing me back this way, so I'm just gonna try to work it around. Whopper plopper time, guys. See what the old whopping plopper is capable of. Besides getting me all squigged. Oh, we're doing it. Love it. Something has got to be hungry. Rachel done already caught one. Ain't that something. Guys, I don't fish this place much. I hadn't figured it out. Like I have. Oh, John D. But, uh, yeah. Maybe something to want to gobble up this here. Whopper Popper. Maybe. I've caught a few fish here before, guys. There's absolutely all kind of structure down here.
Yeah. Oh, this is. I can see a tree structure. I'm fixing to tie on a familiar face for me. The old Guggen clutch. I've caught one bass out of this lake before, and it was on the uh, Guggen clutch, I think. About in the same spot we're here at now. So let's see guys. See if he'll smoke his thing again. There's definitely fish right in here. I'm seeing them. On the down image. This wind is definitely ripping us back towards the dam. Because I should have just went on further down and just floated back this way, guys. I think that's what I'll do. I'll bring you back when I get down to the lake. Stay tuned. Pretty good, it's about like six feet deep right here. Got the old Guggen clutch on her. Water temps about 89.7. Overcast skies, so it's pretty much cloudy. It's humid, muggy, and it's just hot, but it ain't as bad as it's usually been. So yeah. We should be fine guys, should be fine. Ugh. Man, I tell you what, man, if it's great to have a kayak that I could just stand up in. It is just phenomenal. The only thing it is is the wind's kind of pushing us to the trees. It's four foot, so I gotta kind of get out of here. Temp is like 90 right now, guys. This thing got rough. Whew. Rough and tough, bub. Wind's blowing us back down there towards where Rachel is. I wonder if she's caught anything yet besides the one that we seen her, or last I heard. Got an old Carl's chatterbait on there, lipless. Uh, yeah, Carl's. It's like a purple looking shad. It's got the little rattles, traps in there, so we'll, we'll see, I don't know, guys. Like I said, I ain't really good at this place. I guess I need to come down here and start figuring it out, but it's only open like three days a week. 
so yeah, it's not like old Johnny D. Long. Or we could just, you know, fish it whenever, as long as it ain't dark. Guys, this wind's whipping like 0.5 miles per hour. Uh, the water temp's like 90 degrees, so something tells me that I'm gonna need a slow working bait. Good old slow working bait, guys. And some soft plastics, bed rig, or something. Clouds was uh, over really good for the first part of the morning. And then it was just like, boom, the sun was like, yeah. Well, guys, somebody actually over there is trying to put a pontoon in this little old lake here, but okay, cool. <laughs> hey, whatever tickles you fancy there, man. That's pretty substantial. It's a pretty substantial pontoon you got there, pal. Slap this old chatterbait around. Let's see what happens. I don't know, Abu Garcia Black Max. Oh, that was soft. Maybe, maybe something be like, hey, let's go. Oh, it was about let's go in that tree. Old Black Max been good to me. Still, still a good one. <laughs> one of my first bait casters I had since I started the channel, or well, the fishing channel. Oh man, it's all kind of bait fish right there.
little drop off right here, guys. Pretty substantial. Here. Don't ask what kind of bait I got on there. It's just some kind of old stuff. Forgotten lures in the bottom of an old tackle box. Looks like a chartreuse shad. Something. Seems to be a little drop off right here in front of us, so we're gonna try to run it up and down through there. It looks like there's something maybe possibly down there. I don't know, guys, we'll see. But I set the seat down a little lower on the old pelican here. Uh, that's one good thing about this kayak is it has multiple seat adjustments. And I'm got it sitting in the bottom of the kayak. That's a little better on the wind. Oh, they're showing some fish right in here, guys. To the ooh, they're definitely to the to the right of us. Oh yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, they're definitely right there. Cause I can see them. On the thing. Come on, baby, something, get it. Rachel is over there wiring them out, guys. <laughs> so it got about four or five brim. I'm gonna start putting the camera on her. That's generally how it works out, though. It's all good. What we got going here on the, I ain't seen a fish since that last one we seen over there on the down scan. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I just had a hit. Just had a hit, guys. Darn gummit. Let's try that again. There's some structure over here. We're just gonna try to fish around. Hope for the best. I'm just sitting here watching the old hummingbird, seeing what's uh Y'all yeah, probably wondering what I'm looking at. I don't know if you guys can probably see that. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. You guys can see that pretty good, pretty decent. gonna fish around here in the shade just to see what may happen um, what? Dude, I was way over there guys and I had like a whopper plopper buried off in me 16 treble hooks and and all that so I had to paddle like 40 miles of heat exhaustion with the wind to come all the way back over here to get rescued by Rach so that just decommissioned one of my rigs, but it's all good. It's okay. No big deal. No worries. All right, guys, while we're here and enjoying the day, we might as well throw it around along with these rocks and all that good stuff here. So let's see. Got the old chatterbait on the old Abu Garcia. Uh, we're about to pick up everything in the brother right here. <laughs> Great. 
all kinds of stuff and things. Look, I told you that. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. If we can't get it off. There it is. Sometimes you just gotta. Guys, it is hot. Got to talk with one of my subscribers while I go over. John Boat. Pretty nice fella. Yeah, right before I had that professional over on with those 48 treble hooks. But, yeah. Be all right. No big deal, guys. No big deal. Alrighty guys, that's gonna conclude today's fishing adventure. If you hadn't already, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you hadn't already. Good old Jonesville Reservoir. Rachel over here went for a swim. We're not gonna talk about that because I'm really not trying to sleep out there in the yard with Bo. So yeah, she wore them out as usual. I got a few bites, it is what it is. Try to hit the river in the morning, so hopefully the weather holds out. Till next time, fishing 864, keep those lips ripping. As I have literally done hooked myself to my damn fishing rod here, guys. Great.